The thing that everyone told me about Singapore before coming here was that it's illegal to chew gum. But it turns out it's illegal to do f anything in this country. No weed, no porn, no alcohol after 10 30 p.m. No feeding the otters, no fishing, no hand washing. You can't even spit on the ground. And as a Texan, I was kind of offended. There's a security camera right outside my bathroom and I, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't think anybody needs to watch me run from my room to the bathroom when I haven't peed in a while. There's all these signs everywhere that tell you what you're not allowed to do. Actually, that one's pretty funny. Who are you? <laughs> a lot of these signs are so iconic that they sell collectible versions. If you guys go to like Bugis, right, which is like a lot like a like shopping area and like shopping at tires, you'll see a lot of like um like like fine city shirts. So it's like Singapore just leans into it. Because one, we also don't really have a lot of identity, so I think it's like it's really funny to us that we have something to at least put on a t-shirt, like put it on a t-shirt and capitalize on it. Alright. What do you guys think about this sign? So I didn't even know what a durian was before I came to Southeast Asia. It's a fruit that's really popular right here. It's got a lot of spikes on it and you're not allowed to bring it onto public transportation because it smells really bad. Well, anyone that has never been stabbed by a durian in the MRT or in the, in the bus will not know the pain. Wait, so you're not allowed to bring a hole? Yeah, like you, even, can. you can. You, you can bring like the box kind, but you can't bring a whole ass durian. In. I just thought you shouldn't stink up the MRT. It's, it's like one thing to stink up MIT, it's one thing to carry a basically like a wrecking ball around. <laughs> especially when the car, if like the car is like jolting or anything, or there was an accident, that thing would be flying through the air. I think it's happened quite a lot. Like there's a reason why we stopped it. Yeah. The, the, the tossing? <laughs> it's all <laughs> granny going like, you don't come near me. I would stay away from my dad when he eats like durian. Like our, our house is really small. So it's like, there's only so many places we could hide like to get the durian. So it's like avoiding family members level? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a way. You have to sell durian. You either love it or hate it. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, there, there's no in between. It's yeah. Like, no, nobody's like okay with it. They either love it or hate it. Mm. Oh, Achoo! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, I think this one is something that I noticed recently on a bus. A little bit why that sign stood out to me is because I feel like not punching the guy who's driving the bus is so obvious <laughs> that like you wouldn't even need to be told not to do it. Yeah, oh. it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like you're just mostly saying like it happened like it had to have happened so many times to the point where like they had to have made a sign for it. Yeah, it can't happen that often, right? Right? Woman jailed for attacking bus driver. Jail for man, 72. Truck driver, 33. Man arrested after bus Jail for man on the I didn't even go past the first page of Google. Is it dangerous? The bus driver job? <laughs> you can know who, who's on board. <laughs> Wait, do you not have this in Canada? Not, not a don't punch the bus driver sign. Is it? Aww. But I think you'd get in trouble for punching the bus driver. Right. Yeah. But we don't have signs like you guys do. It's like, no smoking. That's like it. So after Singapore got kicked out by Malaysia in the mid 1960s, the things that were clearly problems were racial tension. There are a few countries in the world that aren't as diverse as Singapore. Economic problems, being a low income country and a lot of people living in poverty by the 1950s and 60s, and also drugs. There was a massive opium problem in Singapore during the 60s can't look at modern day politics without looking at the history behind it. I think that like Lee Kuan Yew is the reason why Singapore is the place we are today. It is in the place we are today. What he brings with that is is a strict style of governance over the people that works. There's not really a, there's not really a, a thing 
Not really reason. What's it? Sorry, what was the question again? First, to understand Singapore, you've got to start off with an improbable story. It should not exist. We don't have the ingredients of a nation, the elementary factors, a homogenous population, common language, common culture, and common destiny. Suddenly, we're on our own. We have to defend ourselves. We have to make a living without a hinterland. We've got to have a foreign ministry. It's one thing running Hong Kong under British or Chinese protection. It's another matter governing tiny Singapore. I'm accused often of interfering in private lives of citizens. Yes. If I did not, had I not done that, we wouldn't be here today. We'd be the old Singapore, speaking four languages, not interacting. We wouldn't have them all living in the same new towns, learning to be good neighbors. There were dark moments, very dark moments when we, I, I could not be sure we would ever get out of that tunnel. One of those periods would be 1964, after the riots, till August 1964. There was no way in which anybody could tell us that we would get out of it. And because the people supported us, therefore we succeeded. It just wasn't guts on our part. It was guts on a part of a total population. A total population refused to be cowed. And I say without the slightest remorse that we wouldn't be here, we would not have made the economic progress if we had not intervened on very personal matters. Who your neighbour is, how you live, the noise you make, how you spit or where you spit, or what language you use. Had we not done that and done it effectively, we would not be here today. Okay, like the more fun quick answer would be, oh, I think people are just are animals. We are animals that we, we are animals that will do anything. Like people forget that sometimes we live in a society, but we also like when we are angry and stuff, people just start hearing things, and we can riot as easily as we can be orderly. So sometimes it's good to have those like keep having that implementation of like reminder that oh yeah, you can't hit someone, you have to always kill, or like. Oh, there is like no durian so you can't bring durian like it's the i think it also implements the concept of consideration like all this is like no 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 that means there are a lot of things you cannot do like not because like you just can't do it but because you have to be considerate of others yeah there's a lot of in and out in singapore right so it's like everyone who's not necessarily like familiar with durian or mango steam or stuff like that like you're not gonna know not to bring it because it's like oh a new fruit let me just like bring it home mm. locals we don't really consider like the <coughs> foreign aspect because sometimes some people don't know the rules so it actually helps because singapore is also one of like the tourist hubs also yeah. so yeah. it's good in general singapore is a really unique and interesting country especially in this aspect uh, as it relates to singaporeans relationship to the law and their government. Um, and being here, I've heard all kinds of sentiments from locals, both that outright bans and harsh punishments are a proven and simple way to address complex problems, and that banning something just because you don't like it or know how to deal with it is not the best way to do things. I definitely place value on different things than people living here. Um, I'm also young. I've lived in a stable country for my entire life. I've never had to engage in a lot of the um, uncertain nation building that just a ton of older Singaporeans have. And I feel like if anybody watching um, could learn something from this film, it would be to not assault your f bus driver. Are you insane? That's crazy! Why would anyone do that? With you to the day I die. They're not, they're not gonna stop the bus for you.